In this video, we are going to find out whether Laminia Mal can become the youngest Ballon d'Or winner ever. This may come as a surprise, but Messi is not the youngest Ballon d'Or winner in history. It is actually Ronaldo Nazario de Lima, who won his first Ballon d'Or in 1997, being only 21 years and 96 days old. So apparently we have only 3 seasons to complete this challenge, as Yamal has just turned 17. He has already ridiculous stats, 79 rated right winger with a potential of 92. But this is not going to be an easy challenge at all, as we are playing for Barcelona, the team that is financially unstable to say at least, and just changed the manager after the trophyless season. We are expected to have a limited budget for every season, and we may sign one, maximum two players per season. Luckily we have a bunch of talented players in our squad, and there are few positions to be fixed. And the first transfer target is Nico Williams, of course, who had a deadly partnership with Yamal in Euro 2024 and surprisingly, we could afford his release clause of 60 million euros. So we went on and signed Nico Williams from Athletic Bilbao, massive improvement for the team. And we needed it, cause our bitter rivals Real Madrid has just announced the signing of Kylian Mbappe, maybe the main competitor of Yamal to win the Ballon d'Or. This is how the team looks like in the beginning of the first season. And Nico Williams integrated to the team immediately, scoring the first goal of the season for Barca after a perfect ball from Pedri. Right before the end of the first half, Pedri delivered another assist, this time to Lewandowski. First game and the first win for Hansi Flick. Barca started great in the Champions League as well, especially Robert Lewandowski who scored a hat-trick in the opening game against Anderlecht. But yet Lamin Yamal was a little bit silent, mainly because of the lack of the playtime which he shared with Rafinha. And also he should work on his stamina, it is too low to play the games from the beginning till the end on this highest level. Despite having a good start of the season, Barca were still struggling against the big teams, just like during the game against Atletico Madrid at the Wanda Metropolitana, which were lost in the end 1-0, and as a result, Barca were only 4th in the league after 10 games. And soon, it was the big day! First El Clasico for Flick at the Santiago Bernabeu. Barca started the game very positively, scoring first with Kundogan. In the 29th minute, Real Madrid managed to equalize the score, Jude Bellingham on the score sheet. In the 57th minute, Lamin Yamal came in instead of Ansu Fati, but it was not our day. As a couple of minutes later, Vinicius Jr. scored the winner for Real Madrid, a devastating loss in Madrid. In January, Real is already first in the table, but the race for the La Liga trophy was definitely there. In the Champions League round of 16, we are facing Napoli. First game was a draw and we needed to win the second at the Montjuic to go through. But surprisingly, it was Napoli who started the game aggressively and they scored already in the 6th minute a banger from Victor Osiman. They continued to force the attacks and scored the second one as well in the 30th minute. Barca had couple of chances in the second half. Even Nathan were sent off to leave Napoli with 10 men, but it was a little too late. We were out of the Champions League from the round of 16. Very poor performance. And also, Lamin Yamal did not impress in this competition at all. But we still can win a trophy as we make to the final of the Copa del Rey, where Girona awaits us, a Catalan derby for the Royal Trophy. But to be fair, we were the best team on the pitch by far and created a lot of good scoring opportunities, but David De Gea saved every shot from us. And when everybody were getting ready for an extra time, Gavi buried the hopes of Girona players by smashing the ball just under the crossbar. The first trophy for Hasi Flick as Barca manager and the first Copa for Lamin Yamal. In the La Liga, although we fought till the end, we sadly ended up the season on the third position. An unbelievable season from Robert Lewandowski, but also very respectable stats from Yamal. 26 goal contributions in 36 games, many of which has come from the bench. It is amazing for 17 years old player competing on the highest level to record these stats. He is already 83 rated and is working hard to improve his physical attributes, especially stamina. 
Season 25-26 starts for us with two major departures. Ferran Torres decided to leave the club because of the lack of the playtime, as well as Robert Lewandowski, who decided to travel to the Saudi League to slowly end his amazing career there in the desert. We got only 76 millions for improvements this season, and again, we are going to complete only one signing, but a major one. Darwin Nunez is joining us from Roma for almost 70 million euros and will be playing as a striker for us. He begins his journey at Barca with a goal in his debut match against Mallorca, the opening match of the season which we won 2-0 in the end. Darwin continued demonstrating his good form in the league by providing the winning assist to Nico at the Vanda Metropolitana. And after that win, we were second in the league after 8 games. But in the Champions League, we lost the game against Leipzig and we are risking to finish on the second place. So we must win the second time against them. We were clear favorites this game. And in the first half, Lamine Yamal bottled two brilliant chances to give us a lead. Both times Kulashi made incredible saves to keep the clean shit. In the second half, the game has become a chaos. Leipzig took the lead two times, but we managed to equalize the score again and again, but in the end, still, we lost two precious points. Luckily, we ended up the group stages in the first position. The second season as well was not very prolific for Yamal. And here we have an El Clasico at Montjuic, an opportunity for him to shine. But Real Madrid started the game much better than us and scored already in the 17th minute. In the second half, in the 59th minute, Balde collected the loose ball and passed it to Darwin Nunez, who equalized the score for us. Quite literally, the next attack from us, Nico found Yamal in the opponent's box and he finally finished the attack, scoring his first ever goal in El Clasico. And we got valuable three points as a result. This was his sixth goal in the season. In 19 games, he should improve on his stats if we want to win the Ballon d'Or anytime soon. In the Champions League, we got a lucky draw and smashed Slavia Praha with 7-1 aggregate score. But in the quarterfinals, we are matched up against Manchester City. And the first game at the Montjuic, we have only a draw. For the second match, we got a nearly impossible task to beat City at the city of Manchester. Our plan was not to concede in the beginning of the game and we were defending good and started to create chances in the second half, mostly from the counter-attacks. But the finishing from our players let us down. Firstly, Darwin Nunes missed a sitter in the 68th minute, then in the 82nd minute, Lamin Yamal provided an amazing ball to Nico Williams who had to score there, but unfortunately that did not happen. And right before the end of the match, in the 93rd minute, one last attack from City was a successful one. Haaland scored at the near post to send Manchester City through to the semis and we are going home. But as a little bit of a relief, we actually won the La Liga, the only trophy for this season. And Lamin Yamal had a very solid contribution this time. 20 goals and 12 assists, he's getting better and better and maybe he can shine on upcoming World Cup 2026. Spain started the tournament as the Euros winner and smashed Ireland national team 4-2 in the opening day. The next group stage game was against Poland and Gavi opened the score already in the 9th minute. Near the end of the first half, Jamal scored the second goal as well, another solid win for Spain. The third game Spain faced Argentina, the world champions and this game they played absolutely magnificent. In the 18th minute, Yamal pulled three defenders in the box and smashed the ball into the net. The second goal has come from Yamal's assist. This time Nico Williams scored a beauty of a goal. Couple of minutes later, another break from the Spanish team, another incisive pass from Yamal and a screamer from Ferran Torres. What a finish that was! 3-0 victory against the world champions and Spain is looking as the main favorite to win this World Cup. As expected, in the round of 16, they walked past through Mexico and got matched up against Argentina once again, this time in the quarterfinals phase. But this game was not even close to the previous one, it was way even. Jamal could have scored for Spain in 54th minute, but he hit the post. The game went on to an extra time, where Unai Simon saved a shot from Alvarez in the 115th minute to keep Spain in the game, and penalties it was. Both teams scored most of their shots, and it was equal till the 7th kick. Alejandro Balde scored this one 
to give Spain a lead. And then Unai Simon saved the penalty from Alvarez to win this game for his national team. They were through to the semis. In the semi-final against France, Lamine Yamal scored the first goal for his team, this time in the 5th minute after a quick counter-attack. He continued his magic in the second half as well and assisted for Pedri's goal, Spain got the tickets to the World Cup final. It needs to be mentioned, Lamine Yamal is one of the most influential players of this tournament. He needs to shine in the final as well. It is the day, the World Cup final in Atlanta, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Italy against Spain. Spain is clearly a favorite in this match, but Italy got an early penalty for the fourth against Zaccani. Berardi shot and Berardi scored, 1-0 to Italy. Now Spain need to attack even more, but it was Italy who were closer to score. Berardi could have got himself a brace. And finally, in the 60th minute, Yamal and Nico created a brilliant opportunity for Ferran to score and he equalized. Match ended 1-1 and went to an extra time. In the 99th minute, Yamal had a golden opportunity to score, but Gigi Donnarumma outdone himself with an unbelievable save. Spain got the corner kick, Lamin Yamal crosses the ball and Pau Torres puts the header in. Spain takes the lead and they manage to keep it till the last whistle of the game. Second time in their history, Spain became the world champions just after two years from winning the Euros. And Lamin Yamal was the second in the team in terms of goal contributions right after Ferran Torres. If you like this video so far, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Season 2026-2027 begins for us with two transfers for the squad depth. Mikel Merino from Real Sociedad and Juan Miranda from Real Betis joined us as a backup for Gavi and Balde. Such an incredible World Cup campaign gave Lamine Yamal match needed confidence. And the opening game at the Bernabeu he scored already in the 9th minute with this chip. In the 51st minute, he got the brace of chips. And all of this against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu at 19 years old only. This is Messi's legacy. He continued his magic in the Champions League as well, scoring another brace at the Velodrome against Olympique Marseille. In January, after 24 games, he has 24 goal contributions. Amazing season so far. This has given me a hope that we can win the Ballon d'Or eventually. But for that, we need to win the Champions League but ending up only second in the group and facing PSG in the round of 16 is not very helpful for us. But surprisingly for me, we beat them 4-1 in the first game and basically guarantee our place in the quarterfinals, where we are matched up against Inter. Sadly, we lost the first game to Inter 2-1 at the home ground, and now we should win the second tie to proceed to the semis. The game started the best possible way for us. We scored already in the 6th minute to take the lead. In the 61st minute, Inter were very close to score, and I don't understand how they missed there. Anyways, the action aggregate score was 2-2 and Lamin Yamal scored the winner for us in the 73rd minute after a solo run and an inch perfect shot. We are through to the semi-finals. The first game against Liverpool, this time it is 2-2 and again everything will be decided in the second match. And you know how good Liverpool can be at the Anfield, especially Barca fans and they proved it by opening the score in the 21st minute after the corner kick. In the second half Rafinha came into play in the right flank and Yamal moved to the center from where he provided another assist to Rafinha who equalized the score for us. We were trying hard to win this game and were attacking right till the end to fulfill our dream of playing in the Champions League final again. Gavi scored a last minute winner for us, similar to what Iniesta did at the Stamford Bridge back in 2009. We got an insane season, winning the league with 98 points, winning the Copa del Rey against Real Madrid and making to the UCL final, so the treble is on the line. And here we are, after 12 years, fighting for the Champions League trophy again. And we were absolutely flying this game, especially Lamin Yamal. 25th minute, Nico found Yamal at the edge of the box and a cracking finish for him. 
In the second half, he nearly scored the best goal in the history of the Champions League finals. After a slalom run, a little bit of skills as well, he managed to find a tiny space to shoot but sadly missed the target. Although Arsenal had a chance to equalize in the 84th minute, but Declan Rice put the ball wide and in the next attack, Nico Williams set the final score of the game. We finally won another Champions League trophy, another treble for Barca. And Lamin Yamal was the top goal scorer both in the Champions League and in the La Liga as well. November 2027. Yamal already turned 20, is having another great season and is nominated for the Ballon d'Or alongside his teammates from Barca and Kylian Mbappe of course. So let's see, did we complete the challenge? Yes we did, Lamin Yamal has just become the youngest Ballon d'Or winner ever, 20 years and 110 days old. Congrats mate!